I love the opportunity to bring the Word of God to you every day. Rise and shine. In the book of Psalms, chapter 107, verses 8 and 9, I'd like to use that as a verse to encourage you today. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and His wonderful works to the children of men. This is almost like a, a begging plea. Oh, I wish that men would praise the Lord. Oh, I wish that we could be thankful to the Lord. It would change your whole life if you, uh, if you develop the habit of being thankful and praise God every day. It'll change, it'll literally change your whole life. Instead of being down and discouraged, you will be finding yourself being shaped by what you're confessing. If you're confessing, confessing thanksgiving and praise to the Lord, that's something positive. And uh, your life will take on that kind of a positive element, and that's something we really need. It says, for the Lord is good. I've never known God to be a bad God. I've never known anything but good from God. I've seen some bad things happen in life, some hard things happen in life, and things that I didn't even quite understand happen in life, but I've never been captivated by the concept that God is anything but good. There's a song that said, he's never done me nothing but good. And I'd have to say that's the truth. There, there have been times, just the fact that the Lord has saved me, saved my wife, and my two boys. I am the most grateful man in the whole wide world uh, to know my sins are forgiven and they're under the blood. And I have experienced the amazing grace of God through Jesus Christ the Lord. Because God is good. God is filled with mercy. God is filled with love. God is filled with patience. God is filled with uh, everlasting uh, mercy and grace reaching out and uh, I just think he's a good God I don't know how you view God but God's a good God he's my father he's worthy of worship he's worthy of praise he's a good God in the next verse he says for he satisfieth the soul the hungry soul the longing soul If your heart and your soul and your appetite begins to reach out to God like you can't get enough of Him, you want more of Him, you want a closer relationship with Him, you want to, you want to learn to be intimate with Him, you, you'll find out that that pleases God and that the Holy Spirit will honor that. Blessed are they to hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. For He satisfieth the hungry soul, the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Now in the previous verse, we read, praise the Lord for his goodness. And here he says, he'll fill the hungry soul with his goodness. And what it really means is God's going to impart everything that he is to everything I am. He's not going to bring punishment and he's not going to bring anger and he's not going to bring tension and anxiety to my life. He's going to bring things that are good to my life. He may bring discipline to my life, but that's good for me when he does that. He's a good God. I'd like you to get that. And he satisfies me. Eat a good meal and you slip back and think, wow, that was satisfying. On a really hot day, you get a cool drink of iced tea or water. Think, wow, that was satisfying. You ever come out of a good church service where the Spirit of God Almighty has been there and you just can't help but say, wow, that was encouraging, that was uplifting. Wow. <laughs> Do you ever have your own quiet time with the Lord and 
when you came to the end of it, you just couldn't help but think that was really satisfying. Satisfying. I wrote a poem not too long ago entitled, My Soul is Satisfied. I'd like to read it for you. The night that I found Jesus, I knelt there and I cried. He wasn't lost, I was. My mind was almost fried. The devil promised happiness, but then he up and lied. I tell you what, my special friend, my soul is satisfied. Satisfied, satisfied. The night I came to Jesus, his arms were open wide. My sins were all forgiven, and with Jesus I abide. I tell you, friend, this thing for sure, my soul is satisfied. The Holy Spirit came knocking. I invited him inside. He comforts me. He counsels me. My heart was touched. I cried. My heart is overflowing. His love is deep and wide. I tell you this, my special friend, my soul is satisfied. It's a matter of coming to the place in our life where we make him the beginning of every day. It's one thing I, or one reason why I call this rise and shine. This comes a whole lot further up the ladder than anything else. The first thing in the morning, I call out to the Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you this day. My heart is full of situations I'm thinking about. I can't change any of them, Lord. I'm satisfied to know that you're in control, that you're sovereign, that you're looking after me that no evil shall befall me. I'm satisfied. That's the kind of vocabulary that'll put you on your pathway to a good day. Somebody asked you how you are? Be a good thing to say, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with all that God is and all that Jesus is and all the Holy Spirit is. I'm satisfied. It's a good way to thank him. Thanks for joining me today on Rise and Shine. I'm looking so much forward to seeing you tomorrow. And thank you for always being here. I appreciate it. Be satisfied. This next song I'm going to do is uh, it's called Down on My Knees. Um, I know a lot of people find the Lord down on their knees. But however, I found the Lord when I was sitting on the edge of my bed because uh, at the time I was not well and I did a lot of praying and I was reading the Bible and uh, that's when my Savior took a hold of me and told me that uh, to follow him and things would be fine and uh, I did that and every time I look at people down on their knees praying I think of myself sitting on that bed, edge of that bed, and uh, talking to the Lord. So it's the same difference. It doesn't matter if you're on your knees. It doesn't matter if you're in a deer stand talking to the Lord. It doesn't matter if you're outside just sitting at a picnic table. It, it's all the same as long as it's meaningful and comes from your heart. Down on my knees. I found my Jesus down on my knees. I found my Lord. It wasn't on a mountain, not down in the valley, but it was on my knees. I found my Lord. Once I was see the 
glorious Jesus, so rich and free. I've heard about him, the man of Galilee. I cried, Oh Lord, oh help me please. Oh, my name.